everybody so this is another video coming from me Arian and make sure to watch my other videos and so I'm going to be talking about some tips about chests that you should use a lot of them are common and I'm a pretty good player I recommend you should use Lee chest wool this is a board that I can easily do. No one's exactly controlling it. So I recommend like you should use just a minute. Okay, so I recommend you should like use one of these. These. Because like if you do this or this. Well, maybe you should do the one in front of the king, because that leaves your king open. And then they would try to be aiming for that spot, so they can really do some damage to you. But you can also use this. The knight. That's the first. The knight isn't always good, but you can use it. That, and now... I rec probably like a choice of mine would be they would probably do the same thing. Actually, no. They would move this. It's a pretty wise choice. But not exactly. The wisest kind. Now I would do this, then probably they would want to do this. That's why, like, you should always move this pawn here. And now, let's see. Time to attack. Oops, sorry. Hey, where did that pawn go? Sorry, guys, I think the horse just... I mean the knight. Okay, so now you can. Pr the pawn is protected. Yeah, and you may see it have this charger thing. That would be in another video. I'll teach you how I got it. Okay. But this is a chess video. Oh, okay, whatever. Back on track. I want to keep this here because I think like it's a good idea because like I should have it like in the middle over here because then it would be doing nothing. I need to be active and ready to go and doing something. All your pieces have to be active and ready to go and doing something like this pawn is right here defending. Because if you don't have enough defenders, they could just attack you and they will get more points. It's not good. That means they will be getting more stuff. Now I'll take one of these. And put this over here. Because then it's in the middle over here. Anything that, any active stuff that comes like over here... Like over here, or here, then they will be obliterated. Because of this, the bishop. Okay. So probably they will want to move this. Yeah, probably they will want to start moving things out too. Well, we have an opportunity. For this to go here and claim it. But see, nothing is protecting it. You may think the, this is, but it's actually not. 
It can only go here. There. It will never be able to get here. So it's just a free piece. It's just a free piece out there. Now I should keep bring this back. Well, this would probably start gonna do some damage. Um, thank you. The pawn would just take. It's like the least valuable thing. You should take some free. This is a hard move to take. Okay. This is the time you have to take up the pot. Because you have no choice. And probably this. And probably this. Do that. This will sacrifice. This will do that. Well, maybe this thing wants to go here, right? There. But then, like this. But then, it, only a stupid person would actually do this. Or like a person that doesn't know much. It would take it. That's a very bad move. Is this pawn? See you later, dude. Okay, now we're starting. It's just the middle. Now it's just the middle. Now, I need to take out these pawns. Probably this guy will move this out. And probably move this over here. Actually, over here. But I'm not worried about that piece. It's already defended by this and the knight. But it only needs one defense system. Actually, no. That's a bad, very bad move. I'm going to take this, the pawn. It's just a free piece. Nothing defending it or anything. So it's just a free piece and it's good to always gain stuff. It's always good to gain more. Now, it starts to attack this guy, but then he just goes over here. But then he actually thought a good idea. And he moves this here. But then he can always just try to destroy this guy. But it's no use. He's trapped. Now he starts moving his pawns. Now I start. Yeah, and I bring out my queen for a typical reason. That I'm just kidding.
killing stuff. They try to kill everything. Because it's not like I need to save anything. But then I move this diagonally. Then maybe he tries to move his thing up. And he tried to do protection. But now I am going to try something. I'm about to check him. Then just move this. But he may have moved this. Right here. Okay. That's. Smart move. Smart move, eh? Not enough. Okay, now that's a useless pawn. I'll move this here. Then move here. Sorry, you can't move there. Now I can easily capture him. Then he moves up to the top floor. Yeah, and now I should just take this thing to clear the board. Now I am pretty much attacking that. Well, now there's only one thing to do. To move things. Then he moves here. Actually, no. That. There, block here. But he can't move here. Because now this can easily just go there, so it's stuck. If it goes here, well. Then there would have been. But he would just, but he did it anyways. Okay, now he moved here. Very clever. Mm, let's see if we can some time. Now that thing's almost on the other side. So... Feed him some pawns, eh? Take them. Now that's check. See here? Actually, it would be if it goes there. If it would go here, then I would trap him as veterinarian. Now to meet the centerpiece. Now there's nowhere he can move. If he moves a little in front, no way he's ever getting it. There you go. He won. So I won. So these are kind of good stuff, but well, you can also end in a different way. Try to make him go to the very end of the board, like over here. Try to do this and then this. Well, these are some tips you can try to use in your game. Like, you should never, like, give. So, whatever. See you on the next video. Okay? Bye. Make sure to watch my other videos.